Hello, I'm Cameron Turner. Justice was served in the Conrad Murray trial this week, and yet there's a hollowness to this victory. I'm gratified by the guilty verdict returned against this unethical physician who nurtured Michael Jackson's drug dependency and ultimately took his life through self-centered negligence. And yet I can't escape a certain feeling of anger, a twinge of anger toward the king of pop who chose drugs over his own children. Now that's a harsh criticism, I realize that, but it's no more harsh than the reality of three youngsters who are now forced to grow up without the dad that they loved and depended upon because that dad depended on dope. Michael Jackson, as we all know, was a deeply troubled soul. Throughout most of his life, he struggled with internal turmoil that none of us will ever fully fathom. And so we grieve for Michael and we sympathize with him because of the unseen agony which drove him down a self-destructive self path which led to this tragedy. But I do feel anger because Michael Jackson, I'm sorry to say, abandoned his kids. You see, when we choose to become parents, we forfeit any right to live primarily for ourselves. We have to put the needs of our kids before our own, and for their sake, we have a responsibility to subdue whatever demons we happen to be wrestling with. Life is hard. Life is hard. And we are all just human beings, vulnerable, fragile, why the bravest, strongest, and most disciplined of us has a breaking point, and the desire to escape, and the temptation to surrender to depression, to drug abuse, to suicide, these can be powerful motivations. And yet, even in the depths of the abyss, we have choices. That old axiom is true. Pain is inevitable. But suffering is a choice. And so, for the sake of those who depend upon us, particularly our children, we must make the choice to cope with, to manage the pain that is within our lives. And if we can't do it alone, well, then we've got to find something, someone, somewhere to help us out. And when we do that, we will not only protect our children, but we will rescue ourselves in the process. I wish Michael Jackson had been able to do that. And I hope that when my time of testing comes, that I'll be able to do it. Rest in peace, Michael. Thank you for listening. My name is Cameron Turner, and that's my two cents.